Stop seeking male validation. Stop it. You are worth so much more than that. You don't need to go seek men's validation to make you feel good because you are good enough on your own. In this world, we get so much pressure, especially as women, to look a specific way, the beauty standards, they're constantly changing, the trends, one minute they want you to be stick thin, the next minute you need to be curvaceous, like Kim Kardashian, you can't keep up. We have so much pressure, and sometimes as women, we can fall into the trap of seeking male validation to make us feel good. And a men's validation should never determine your worth. You are good enough on your own. You are first and foremost an individual. You came to this world alone. We all did. We weren't joined at the hip with someone. And we're going to go alone. And that means that your worth, the worth that you bring to this world, comes from you alone, not from somebody else. And in particular, not from another guy. I get it. We all love the compliment from people now and then from the guy who likes our post on social media. It makes us feel good. Like, oh, he likes me. Of course, we all like that. We're humans. We want to be liked. We want to be approved. But the danger is, my dears, my lovelies, the danger is when you are relying on his approval, when you are relying on his validation to make you feel good. Seeking a man's approval and validation is not going to make you happy. When you find happiness without seeking external validation, that is going to transform your life. I think so often we get pressure to be in relationships, to find that boyfriend, to get married, because from a young age, society has brainwashed us. Society has brainwashed us to believe that this is where women, this is where we should find our worth and purpose in life. And, you know, don't get me wrong for anyone who's going to start screaming at me. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being married and being in a relationship. Of course not. If you are in a relationship with someone who you love, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. But there's many of us who are not in that situation. There's many of us who have had pressure from culture, from tradition from a very young age, from society, telling us that you as a woman, you need to find a man. Because if you don't, if you don't get married by a certain age, there's something wrong with you. So then we are left to feel like if we don't find that boyfriend or get married by a certain age, we put so much pressure on ourselves that it makes us feel worthless when we are not married, when we haven't found that compatible partner. But you are not worthless. The truth is there's so many people who are in that same position. And it takes time. For some people, if they're lucky, maybe they found their life partner, their dream partner, quickly, at a young age. But for many of us, it can take time. And I'm here to tell you that seeking male validation is, it should not be what defines your worth. And when you go down that route of seeking a male's validation and approval, you will end up settling in relationships. You'll end up being in a toxic relationship because you want a man's approval to make you feel good. You may end up in a situation where you are not happy, where you desperately want to get married because you feel like this is where you find your worth, but it's not. I can guarantee you people who are married they are probably looking at you right now if you're someone who's not and wishing they were in your situation. So many people often rush, get married because of the pressure that we face in society and they end up being with the wrong person because they've not taken the time to do the inner work, find value and worth in their self first and foremost. And then you can be in a healthy relationship where someone else is not defining who you are. 
where the relationship is not defining your worth. It's a bonus. It's the cherry on top because you are happy on your own. You know your worth, you know your value. So in this video, I want to share with you, I'm excited, <laughs> I want to share with you six ways, six ways that you can stop seeking male validation. And I hope these can help you if you're someone who finds yourself being maybe a little low in self-esteem, low in confidence, where you find yourself seeking male validation. And I hope these tips can help you. Point number one is the reason why you need to stop seeking validation from a man <laughs> is because men come and go. And that's the truth. Men come and go. The truth is, not all relationships are going to last forever and many of them don't. We've all experienced breakups. We've all experienced relationships that haven't worked out. Apart from, you know, we have the odd friend who seems to be with her childhood sweetheart forever. <laughs> but that's rare. Many of us go through a number of relationships or we've been through a number of relationships that have not worked out. And the truth is, men come and go. So if you put all your worth in a man, that means every time a man leaves you, that means every time you break up in a relationship, you will be crushed, you'll be broken. And I don't think that's a good place to be because life is inevitable. Life is gonna bring uncertainties. You are gonna be in relationships where it may not work out, there's no guarantee because most of the time, things don't last forever. That's the reality. I know it's not nice, but that is the reality that there's chances that you may not be with this person forever. So that's why if you depend your worth, if you depend your value, if you depend your approval on a guy, and you put all your self-worth in a guy it's very very risky that means you're always going to be up and down up and down and it means even if a relationship breaks up you may quickly move to another one to seek another guy's approval and you'll be that's why people end up in that kind of situation in a roller coaster situation where they want they break up with one person and they can't be on their own they hate it they hate being with themselves and they go on a rebound and they're with someone else and then that lasts only for a short period of time and then before you know it they've broken up with the second person that's how people end up in this kind of situation because they find it so hard to be on their own no relationship is guaranteed and you need to find worth in yourself there is so much going for you without associating yourself with someone else. Find worth in yourself, value in yourself. Discover who you are. Spend some time alone. Do what you need to, but don't be afraid to be alone. Don't lower your standards. Don't lower your values just because you are scared of being alone. Don't rush for a relationship. Don't be desperate for a boyfriend because that's where you seek approval. That's what makes you feel good. Feel good in yourself first. And guess what? That's when you'll be attracting all the men. They'll be queuing up for you. I promise. <laughs> the more you focus on yourself, the more you practice self-love and becoming confident in who you are, that's when you will get more attention. That's when people want a piece of you because that's sexy. When people see that you are in love with yourself, that's what people, people love that. People love people who are confident and sexy. So that's why I really encourage you, my lovelies, my dears, to understand that the truth is men are gonna come and go. The truth is relationships are not guaranteed. So if you put your worth on a relationship, what will happen during a breakup? You want to be able to handle yourself, your emotions, so that you got this. 
because you got yourself, you love yourself, you know that you have got this. <laughs> You know that no matter what happens in the external world, because you're not putting your validation and you're not seeking approval in someone else, in particular in a relationship or a guy, you'll be fine if they're not there. You're okay on your own. You've got so much going for you. You're not desperate. You're not going to put up with any mistreatment just because you need a man in your life, just because you need a man's approval in your life. Moving on to point number two, how to stop seeking a man's validation is to understand on social media or any platforms or whatever, whatever it may be, is to stop seeking his opinion and approval on how you feel about yourself, seeking his validation to make you feel good. In a world, in the digital era that we live in, there's so many of us who use social media platforms and I can relate to this. I've done this in the past where we seek our validation, where we seek approval from a guy to make us feel good. The days where we get so many likes, we get so many comments. It's like, oh, he likes me. I am pretty. The danger is what happens on the days where you don't get the likes, where you don't get the approvals. Can you see what I mean? It's leaving you at a risk of where you are depending your worth based on someone's opinion about you. That is crazy. You never want to put your worth because, on, because of how a guy feels about you on a certain given day. You know, I've done it myself where I, at one point, I liked a guy. I really liked a guy on social media and... Any time that he used to like my post, I used to feel, oh my gosh, he likes me. And I used to do so many silly things. It's embarrassing just to try and get his attention, dress in a specific way, look at me, I'm so sexy, just to grab his attention. And it's so embarrassing to admit, but I done this thing. So I know that I was seeking his approval to make me feel good until I like had to snap myself out of it and be like wake up Rosina what are you doing like your day some days I would feel crap because he didn't like me he didn't press that stupid like button the heart button like how can my worth how can my worth be based on a guy liking a post it's ridiculous. The minute we put our worth on a guy's approval his opinion about us danger danger, red flags, <laughs> or red alerts, you need to take that control back, take that power back. Your worth is based on what you think about yourself, not based on how ra a random guy is thinking about you, is feeling about you on a given day. Your worth is based on how you feel about yourself, how, what you think about yourself. And again, it, it can apply to any situations out of these apps. We're still going to look for validation and approvals from guys who we meet if we, go, if, we are, if we go on dates. Don't let their judgments about you ever, ever make you feel bad about yourself. Because everyone's opinion is going to be different. Everyone's judgment is based on their own experiences, the way they've been brought up. Everyone likes different things. You like different things. You like different things about guys. You're not going to like every single guy. And it's the same with us. A guy is not going to like everything about you. Men have different tastes too. Some guys are going to be more into you. Other guys are not. And that's okay. That's absolutely fine. You should never let a guy's opinion make you feel bad because they're fleeting. They come and go. You should be confident in who you are. I think we can forget that the person who we can sp who we spend the most time with is ourself. So it's about what you say to yourself in here. That's what's the most important. That's what is the most important and that's what's going to determine your happiness. In here is what's important. So what if someone doesn't like your hair or the way you look? Get lost. <laughs> that's how you need to be. Okay, we're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. And that's fine. The more unique you are, in my opinion, the better. We don't have enough 
quirky, unique people in this world, and we need to encourage that for people to be the mo the their most authentic self. How to stop seeking male validation? Point number three is to start falling in love with yourself. To start loving yourself. This is so important. When you love yourself, when you fall in love with yourself, when you increase your self-esteem, do all of this work, when you're not seeking external validation, you won't feel, you won't fall into the trap of constantly seeking someone else's approval because you will feel good in who you are. I think we can forget that sometimes we can make ourselves feel good. We often rely externally for our partners to make us feel good, for our friends to make us feel good. And I'm not saying don't ever lean on anyone to make you feel good. Of course it feels nice to be taken care of. We all, who doesn't want to be taken care of? But we can forget that actually we can practice self-love. We can practice feeling good on our own. When you learn to make yourself feel good, without needing someone else, without needing someone else's compliment to lift your day, that's a game changer. That will transform your life because that will mean that you're not going to be so needy and desperate. It's crucial to love yourself. It really is. It's the one thing that can change and transform, transform your entire life in all the different areas. When you start loving yourself, it means that you only want good in your life. You'd want positive energy. If there's any kind of relationship bringing you down, you won't put up with it. You'll get out of that straight away because you love yourself enough, you value yourself enough to want good things. When you know what you're worth, when you know what you bring to the table, you become powerful. You become unstoppable and people can see that and they are going to treat you exactly how you see yourself. Your outer reflection out there is a reflection of how you see yourself and that's why it's so important that you learn to love yourself. Remember that you are unique and you are beautiful exactly the way you are and you need to learn to love yourself when you become your own best friend and when you fall in love with yourself, you won't settle. You won't seek a man's validation to make you feel good because you've figured out how to make yourself feel good. Number four is how to stop seeking a man's validation is you don't let a relationship define you. I know so often I can relate to this. I was a victim, victim to this that we have been brought up to believe that our purpose as a woman, our worth as a woman is in, in, is in a relationship, is to find a man, is to get married. But that's not true. That's really not true. Honestly, if I tell you that I have friends who rushed to get married, I know people, I know women who rushed to get married because of cultural pressure, because of tradition, society pressure, that that's what they had to do. If not, they're a weirdo, that they're going to be seen like the odd one out in society. And because of that fear, because of that pressure, so many women rush to be in a relationship and they end up marrying the wrong person only to later discover that they are not happy. They are not happy. And a lot of them I know have had had got divorced because unfortunately if you pressure yourself and if you force yourself to get married desperately and because that's what society wants you to there is a chance that you are going to end up marrying the wrong person but when you take your time when you don't let a relationship define you when you discover who you are you're more likely to choose someone from a healthy perspective you're not going to be desperate because that's what society expects, expects of you. You won't be pressured to get married because that's what mummy and daddy wants of you. You know yourself and you know that a relationship does not define you. You are okay on your own. You've got so much going for you and you are open to relationships. I'm not saying don't ever want to be in a relationship because we all want that. We're human. We want love. Of course we do. But 
not in a desperate way. You're not going to make that your purpose. You're not going to make that your goal to the point where if you don't find someone, then that's it. You have no purpose in this world. You've got no worth. You're going to stay indoors, lock your doors in your room and never show your face to the world. No, a relationship does not define you. The next point, point number five, how to stop seeking a man's validation is to accept your own flaws first and foremost. I think so often, so many of us, we find it hard to accept our imperfections. If you can do this, you will become powerful. We all love people who they know that they've got imperfections. They know that there's something quirky about them, but they accept it. When we see those people who accept their own flaws, when we see those people who accept their imperfections, we accept it. We love that about other people who accept their imperfections and their flaws. And that's what you have to remember. When you accept your imperfections or what you think is wrong with you, no one can hurt you because you've accepted it. You've taken the power away from people being able to put you down about your imperfections. That's why it's so important to embrace your authentic self, to embrace your quirky self and to roll with it. I encourage you to do this so much. I encourage you to practice doing this, to accept yourself because I know I was so hard on myself in the past for not fitting in, not looking a specific way, you know, maybe having a funny nose or whatever it may be. But the moment you accept yourself and your quirkiness, that is what's sexy. That's what people love. When you accept yourself, people will accept you. And that's when you will stop seeking validation externally from a man. You take that power away from anyone putting you down, from a man putting you down because you accept it about yourself. So therefore, everyone, will, everyone else will accept it. So I really encourage you to accept your imperfections, your quirkiness and roll with it. Make, make it your your power make these things that you don't like about yourself and turn it around and make it into something that's quirky and unique that you roll with turn it around rather than saying this thing is wrong with me you know say this is what's unique about me turn turn around what you say to yourself about yourself sometimes our worst critic is our own self like if we keep listening to that inner critic voice if we listen to it and believe it, then, you know, we're in for a lot of trouble. So accept your flaws, then no one can hurt you. When you accept your flaws, then you're not going to seek validation in someone else. You're not going to seek validation in a guy because you know and you accept that you're not perfect. We know that no one in this world is perfect and you understand that. And you know that you, there's certain, certain things about you that no one else will have. And that's what makes you unique. No one is 100% perfect. Every, everyone has something wrong with them. And the minute you can accept your flaws, that will make you so attractive. That will make you so attractive. You know, sometimes we think that we have these flaws, but actually no one can see them until we point it out to them. So when you accept it, when you feel active, you have to, that you are beautiful, that's when people are going to see that beauty in you. That's when people will accept it in you. And number six, how to stop seeking male validation is to understand that your life depends on you. Not anyone else, not your uncle or your auntie, not even your boyfriend. It depends on you. How to stop seeking a man's validation is to understand that happiness is your own responsibility. So often we seek happiness in external things to our boyfriends please make me happy please make me feel good please 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 that's so unattractive <laughs> i've done it before okay i know i know i've done it before so i am speaking from experience when we are externally seeking out there to things to make us feel happy but we forget that the only person that can make us truly happy is ourself when you take that power back 
when you take the responsibility that the only person that can make you happy is yourself, that is going to change your life. That means you will stop seeking validation from men, from external things to make you happy because you know that you are responsible for your own happiness. I think so often we are taught to seek externally at things to make us feel happy, but actually it's only you that can make yourself feel happy. It's only you that can make yourself feel at peace. And the way you do that is by spending some time alone, doing the healing that you need to. Maybe you've had terrible breakups, you need to heal from that rather than jumping into the next relationship, understanding that give yourself a minute Give yourself a minute to do some self-discovery work, to do some work where you discover your worth, to bring your self-esteem up, to understand that you are all you need. It's you that can make yourself feel happy. When you understand that your life depends on you, that you are the creator, you are the author of your life, you are going to stop seeking external validation. You're going to stop seeking external validation from a guy. When you understand that happiness is your own responsibility, then you'll be okay during the times. Even if you are in a relationship, when someone's having a bad day, it's not fair on them to constantly make you feel happy. I think so often we think in relationships, we put the pressure on our partners to make us feel happy, but that's not fair because people are going to have bad days, bad weeks, bad months. When you learn to make yourself feel happy, then you can handle life's ups and downs. When you learn to be at peace with yourself, you'll understand that you are going to come across rocks that you are going to hit, that are going to make you feel down some days, but you pick yourself up because you know how to make yourself feel happy, whether that's through engaging in the passion projects, whether that's doing things that you love, whether that's traveling doing self-discovery work, being at peace with who you are, accepting your flaws, not being so hard on yourself, forgiving yourself for making mistakes. When you are happy with who you are, when you know that you can make yourself feel happy through all the things that you can do in life, and if you don't know how to make yourself feel happy, you really need to discover that first and foremost because that is going to change your life that is when you will become more attractive to your future partners who would want to be with you or even if you are in a relationship that will make you more attractive when you're less needy on someone else when you're less dependent on someone else to make you feel happy honestly guys love that i love that in a guy when he's not so needy he can make himself feel happy um that makes me feel more attracted to him and it works the other way around when you can make yourself feel happy that means you can depend on yourself. That means you're not going to rely on a man's validation to make you feel good because you are happy on your own. You understand that happiness is your own responsibility and you take the power back from external things to make you happy because you know how to make yourself feel happy. So I really encourage you to discover what makes you happy. For me, I love listening to music. I like going to music events. Even if that means going on my own, I like traveling and there's a long list of things that make me happy and I'm always discovering new things also that make me happy. So try and find things that make you happy, that you can fall back on, that you can always revert to, to make you feel good, where it doesn't depend on other people. And that will truly transform your life. That means you're not going to seek external validation from a guy or from anything else. You'll be okay on your own. you got this. And if at a time you are ready to be in a relationship, if at a time you want to share your amazing life with someone, then you will come from a healthy place. You'll be a whole happy person on your own individually. And then you're ready to share it with someone else. You'll be ready to go on a journey called life with someone else. So just to recap, the way you stop seeking men's validation is number one, understanding that men come and go. And that's the reality. That's the truth is that men will come and go. If you're constantly seeking validation from a guy, understanding that relationships will come and go. When you're constantly seeking approval from a guy on social media or anywhere else, understanding that people's opinion about you will always change. That's why you need to have 
a solid foundation of who you are and have confidence in who you are and not rely on other people's opinion about you, a man's opinion or anyone else for that matter. Number three is to start loving yourself, becoming your own best friend. Remember that the best relationship you can have is the one with yourself because that's who you spend the most time with. Don't forget that. Number four is you understand that a relationship does not define you. You are okay on your own. You've got so much going on in your life. If a relationship comes, then fine. You're open to it, but you're not going to pursue a relationship desperately because you feel like that's where you find your worth. You find your worth in so many other things in life and you're not gonna put up with any relationship that brings you down or with a guy who's toxic. You are okay on who you are as an individual. Number five is accepting yourself fully, your flaws, because once you accept yourself, that's when everyone else accepts you. That's when you take the power back from anyone being able to hurt you. And that's when it's freaking sexy, when you can roll with your imperfections. Number six is understanding that your life, your happiness is your responsibility first and foremost. When you also take the power away from everything else making you happy, when you know how to make yourself feel happy and at peace, when you know what you are worth, then you will stop depending externally for your happiness to make you feel good you know how to make yourself feel good and that will transform your life. I promise, I hope you can practice these. Let me know if you've got anything to add. I'd love to hear from you. Comment below. I hope you're all doing really well. It's got a bit dark here, unfortunately. The days are so short, so I'll try and do a video, but the time seems to keep going tick, 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 tick. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Let me know. I'm sending you my love and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.